Hi everybody, my name's David, and in this week's video, we're gonna be talking about smart scales. So if you've never held on these before, uh, we'll be talking about what they're good for, what they do, and more importantly, should you buy one? Uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'll take you through all the information about them. So if you've never seen one before, a smart scale does exactly what it says it should do. So it's a set of scales that are smart, and the smart bit means that they connect to the home Wi-Fi and upload the results of your weigh-ins to the internet automatically. As you can see, I've used stock footage here. The thing about smart scales is the automatic aspect of it and the habit forming part of it. Uh, a normal set of scales, you go in, you weigh yourself, obviously, you'll get a reading in kilograms or pounds, and that reading then you've either got to discard and think, okay, I've lost weight, I've, I've gained weight, I'm maintaining weight, or you can actually write that down on a piece of paper, take it away in a notepad or whatever, and store that, and then next time you weigh in, you'll know whether you've gained or lost weight. With a set of smart scales, it's all done automatically for you. There's no messing around, there's no going away to try and work out whether you, how much you've gained or lost, or is there, a, is there a trend? Are you actually losing weight over a period of time? Because we don't want to be weighing ourselves daily, uh, not good for your mental health, and it's it's just too monotonous. <laughs> Who's got time for doing that? Um, so basically, if you, if you weigh yourself one week and then you come back a week or two later, are you going to remember the last weighing you had? Uh, if not, you don't have to worry about that with a, a smart scale. Uh, it's all automatically logged. You can get that information by logging onto your computer or you can get a smartphone app and get all that information, trends and history easily accessible with no hassle. I bought my first set of smart scales back in 2011 and it was a Withings scale, a Withings WS50 I think it was called. And in those days, it, it was smart, it was a market leader, it was a new innovation. Um, I'm a bit of a techie geek, so I like the idea of having some sort of early adoption of, of new technology, so I, I got the set of scales. But that means now I've got information that leads all the way back to 2011 of my weight. As the scales have improved and, and, in, and got more functionality and more features, there's obviously more information I can get now, whereas in those days it was just my weight. Now there's BMI, there's uh, fat mass, muscle mass, water, you can get heart rate, you can get body composition. There's so much information, it's crazy. But um, my original data back from 2011 was just my weight. The good thing about not obsessing about your weight like this and, and tracking your weight in what I call the mid to long term. So instead of tracking my weight daily, I might track my weight sort of every couple of weeks, every month or so. I get an idea, an expectation of what my weight's gonna be when I get on those scales. I know what I feel like internally, and, and so it doesn't make me obsess about it or anything like that. Because I don't weigh myself daily, it also allows me to have cheat days guilt-free. It's a cheat day. So my scales are a Withings Body Plus set of scales. They look pretty innocuous and simple. There's a little flat place for you to stand on. There's a little LCD screen, which you can't really see very well at the top here. And on the back, just four pressure pads, and that's it. It's very, very simple. So my set of scales, uh, even though I upgraded a couple of years ago, they've brought out a couple of more sets of different, better scales since then, but my set of scales can do your body weight, and it's obviously very accurate as well. They can do the BMI, the body mass index, they can do fat percentages, body water percentage, and muscle mass on my latest version of scales. Um, that's what mine does. For some unknown reason, it also gives me the weather forecast in my area. Why? What on earth for? One other neat feature of the, of the scales, uh, especially if you've got a family and they want to use the scales as well, is it can tell who's actually on the scales and actually welcome you. So it'll say, hi David, and so I know it's recognised me and then I, I can take my way in. And then when you go into the app or on the internet, you can actually see your profile, you can click on your name and it'll allocate, it's allocated the weight to you. And so as I said earlier, I originally had the the Withings, I think it was their second ever scale they bought out, because I think they bought out an original one in 2009, and I bought one in 2011, I think it was called the WS50, and all it really was was weight. Uh, my new one, as I've said, does a lot more information, and in the app, when I actually look at the information, all it actually does is, uh, you know, a couple of years ago when my new data started with the, the, the new set of scales, there's a couple of extra bits in the in the app that show information from that point. So as I said, there's a there's two new versions of uh, scales that have come out from Withings now. I've got the Body Plus. There's also a Body Cardio and a Body Composition, I think, or Body Comp. Um, they're quite a lot more money, unfortunately. I think mine at the moment is about ninety pounds uh, in the UK, and the Body Cardio. So the next one up from that is one hundred and forty nine ninety five, I think it is, and I think the body comp is 100, nearly £190, £189.95. 
Um, so there's quite a lot of jumping in cash there for some extra functionality. Um, the body cardio does, I think everything the same as mine, except it also does heart rate. And the body comp does vascular age. I'm not sure what that means. And also it does extra dermal activity or dermal activity. Um, not sure I'm going to upgrade for that functionality. Uh, well, I, what mine does is brilliant for what I need. So yeah, de depends on what you want and how much you're willing to pay. Uh, depends on which smart scales you're going to get yourself. So Withings was one of the first company to bring smart scales to market uh, back in 2009. But since then, obviously, other people have jumped on the bang ring. And I think Ufi, e -U -F -I -Y, who make um, smart cameras and things like that, um, they do one now. Uh, there's a company called Renfo and also Fitbit do the Aria range, I believe, as well. So there are other companies out there. Um, so yeah, I've, I've only stuck with Withings because I've got the data from that far back and they've always been really excellent. And obviously first to market usually means a better product. All those other models I've mentioned, I'll include links down below in the description to those products as well, so you can see what they're like. So over the last five or six years, I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, some of that is obviously down to exercising. Some of it is down to eating healthier and consistency on both of those. Um, but a little tiny bit of it that is actually down to the habit forming aspect and being able to see the information from a set of smart scales. Because obviously, if I can look back on historical data and see that I used to be this heavy and I'm now this heavy, and I feel better for it and I feel healthier, then it's a, it's a good indication, it's a good positive mindset thing. So my set of smart scales help me lose weight and become a healthier person. Um, I'm never going to be a ripped like bodybuilder physique or anything like that, uh, but I'm definitely healthier than I was five or six years ago when I first started on this journey. I was overweight in those days. I wasn't overweight craned out of a house to be going into hospital overweight, but I was overweight and technically obese in the, in the terms of all of the medical professionals. So as you get older, in your late 40s and your early 50s, you start to notice that people you know, or people you knew from a long time ago, are starting to drop like flies. and most of the time that could be attributed to some sort of lifestyle impact i.e they smoke a lot they drink they do both they don't exercise those sort of things so in sort of 2016 2017 i decided enough was enough i used to be healthy and fit when i was younger i was going to sort of try and recapture some of that and that's what i did so i hope you liked this video if you did hit the like button down below and if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe and get notification of any new content i bring out then so it's getting closer to high rocks now we've just got four weeks left to go uh, my daughter's going to be doing it with me. Uh, she's going to be 16 next week, so she's really buzzing now, looking forward to doing the CrossFit adults classes at our gym. Um, and we're both tailoring our programming, our training towards High Rocks now. As my daughter's only 16 next week and High Rocks is only in a few weeks after that, she might be one of the youngest people actually doing High Rocks as a competition. So if you see us, say hi. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week.